the good life is an idea. It's a concept that was carrying much of the history of philosophy. Philosophers have, have often thought about what would be the ingredients, what would be the things that make life good. And I believe we live in a time where new technology has a huge impact on our ordinary, daily social life. It changes the way we communicate with each other, changes the way we interact, how we work, how we enjoy our leisure time, how we laugh, how we do our things. And I think it's about time that a discipline like communication looks at the advantages and disadvantages of things that make um, new technology compromise with the idea of the good life or support the good life. I think we use new technology because we believe we are having a better life. It makes our life more convenient, easier. It allows us to get information at every time and any place. It helps us particularly to connect with others all the time. And humans always had a need to be connected and to be related to others. And so new technology promises us to satisfy that need. At the same time, we have learned that much of our needs are uh, challenged because we are um, using new technology in order to satisfy the needs. But it turns out that very often we're not happier with it, but we're troubled by it. It uh, keeps us away from fulfilling the needs. Uh, but it's not a black or white sort of uh, situation. It uh, provides both challenges and, and opportunities. And I think a discipline like communication that deals with the ways we communicate and interact and use media and technology is the right discipline to study that question. And we can do that from the various angles. We can do this from a health communication perspective. How does that impact our physical or psychological health? We can do this from an interpersonal communication perspective. What happens to our interpersonal communication through new technology? We can do this from an international perspective. Uh, how does that impact our relationships across borders, cultures, nations? Um, because we have these technologies that um, have a specific impact on us. So in every possible angle we are following in our discipline can be applied to wonder how do new technologies impact um, not only our lives, but also our idea of a good life. That means our goals, our aspirations, and our fears, our concerns about how life should be organized these days. We know from research that people um, do rarely have a time to, um, uh, um, oh, what's the word, um, recover from daily stress. Because, in, you know, it's not long ago, I remember the time when people came home from work and uh, recovered by doing nothing or doing nitty-gritty little things that didn't mean much, today they come home and they continue the communication with colleagues, with their boss. They have to um, be available almost all the time. At least they feel they have to. Um, and that is a huge impact uh, on people's lives. And we have only started to think what that means and whether we want it. So here comes in the idea of the good life, which has to do with our uh, wish to live such a good life, a life that satisfies our needs. Um, and the question is, does this new technological situation and the new opportunities we have really make us happier? Uh, is there more well-being after all? Uh, and is there maybe less well-being in the long run, but more well-being in the short run, in the short term? You know, might be that we instantly can uh, satisfy needs because we can always connect with others. It seems like we don't have to be alone anymore. There's always somebody else there we can connect with. But is that really what we want uh, in the long run? 
um, we have only started to think about these issues, and the research is yet to be really systematically done uh, to answer these questions. What other disciplines should answer the question? Philosophers have always thought about it, but they usually don't do you know, systematic studies. That's what communication does. We can pick these rather philosophical questions and run studies and think of, about these questions from different perspectives. And that, I believe, would make the discipline and our research very important um, for the society at large and for every individual.